What's up guys? I will be teaching you the three most efficient way of centering multiple separate parts of your document in Microsoft Word. So when do you need to align multiple parts of a document? For example, you want to create a certificate. It is very easy to center the entire document by just using Align Center. But what if you are required to place more than one signage at the bottom of your certificate? Then, you will have to use any of the three techniques that I will show you. There may be other ways, but these are the most efficient. The first method is using tabs. The first thing that you need to do is to complete the contents of your certificate, including the names of the signees. Type the names of the signees in the same line preceded by a tab. The position of each signee should also be typed in a single line below the respective signees. Then, select the entire two lines. We are now going to use the tab stop. Currently, the tab stop setting is left tab. We'll have to change it to center tab. Click the horizontal ruler where you want the names to be aligned to. So that's the first method, using tabs. The next method is using table. You need to first complete the citation of your certificate. Then, before you type the names, we need to insert a table with one row and two columns. You have to type the name of the signee with the respective position below it in each of the cell. Then, select the table, go to Layout tab, under Alignment Group, click Align Center. That's the second method, using table. The last method is using columns. The first thing you need to do is to complete the contents of your certificate including the names of the signees. But not like the first method, the names and positions should be typed in their individual line with the signee's position below the respective name. Select the name and positions, go to Layout tab, click Columns, then select 2. Then finally, go back to the Home tab, click Center, or just press Ctrl E. That's the last method, using Columns. The size of the file that you will produce using any of the three methods will be the same. So it doesn't matter which one to choose as long as you use which is easier to you. That's it. If you have any questions in how to do things in Microsoft Word, don't be shy to comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more how-to videos. Till next time!